interfered with our affairs for the last time. Tonight. I am literally in the air right now, wrapping up a store. This first class, I am so new at this. Used to ride a metro, let us hit this retro. Like the infrared on my feet, baby, let's go. Set up what they know me by, I love what they call me. Gotta catch a flight, but the fans wanna stall me. Life of a dawn, change just gone. Always in a lab with the fresh kicks on. I'm at the MGM, rocking MCM. Bobby socks on my arm, it's only 10 p.m. Got a rat pack with me going ham at the hotel. Name brand. Today we have a package. We got a package from Glow Shift Gauges. We're gonna open this baby right up. This takes three gauges and turns them into, so it takes three of your orange wires and puts into one wire, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is your hardware for your gauge pod. Oh, that's gonna look awesome. Okay, we're gonna put that on the side. Here we have your sandwich plate. It's got four ports in where you put oil pressure and oil temperature sensor into this, and then you plug up the rest with these little um, bolts they give you. Oh, it feels like Christmas. I miss these gauges. These are awesome. It's an oil temperature gauge. This one is your boost gauge. This would be, oh, it looks like the packaging came out. Glow shift, what are you doing? What are you doing, glow shift? I paid a pretty penny for this. That's your oil pressure sensor. Wonderful. They sent stickers? Bro, did you send stickers? We got Glow Shift stickers as well. That looks like a pretty decent set. These three are gonna be running in the Glow Shift pod. Okay, let's start off. We've got our boost gauge. There's your boost line. Faces look nice though. Now, one of these is gonna have to use a different connector. Okay, so this one's slightly different. I'd love to see these gauges in a Prius or something. That'd be pretty sick. This is your oil temperature gauge. This harness back here connects into the back of this. So there's like the ignition, there's the constant, there's the dimmer, and then there's the ground. Then you have one more power wire that you have to tap into this. This goes into your sandwich plate. The black, I would assume, is your ground, so you have to ground that to something. And then the white one would probably be connected to one of these wires. The green wire goes to the white side. This black wire goes to a ground. These four are just like all the other four wires and every other connection for the glow ship gauges for this specific seven color series. You have two connections, I believe. Yeah, you have two connections. This goes into your sandwich plate. This plugs in here. These wires from the sensor go into the back of the glow ship um, gauge itself. This right here will send power. Um, so this goes into the back of the glow shift gauge and yep, there you go. Those are your four wires. Four wires go into the back of the glow shift gauge and you hook this up to your clock. This provides power. This gives you information. Got your little ports and then this won't come out. This will be snug and there's a little uh, O-ring right here to prevent any leaks. Then you get your oil filter, you stick it on there and you screw your oil filter on. We're going to be able to tell the temperature of your oil and the pressure at which your oil moves. Awesome. Good. All right, jinky drivers, we are back. Got the car jacked up. We've got a light down there. Also got the heater running all the way in that corner up there. Okay, we're under the body of the car. What you'd be able to do is just take this off. Oh, it's cold. There we go. Ah, saw. Let me walk you through what we had to do. So, got this wire loom up, and it was not that easy to figure out where the oil sanders plate was supposed to go and how um, oriented, but this is the best I could do if I faced it the other way, the exhaust manifold. Um, it's like a heat protector for the exhaust manifold. I can't think of the name right now. Interfering with these bolts, and they wouldn't, it wouldn't sit flush. So I had to move it this way. I didn't want to do that because it would touch the the oil pan, but unfortunately that's the route I had to go. So I route it this way. It goes back and it goes through there, zip tied right here. So it, uh, it won't, hopefully it won't touch the exhaust manifold. And I know that's pretty close, but that's the best I could do. Wire loom comes up here. The oil, I mean the, the ground wire for the oil temperature gauge comes all the way here and it's grounded to the chassis. There's that rubber piece right there. Gotta get that rubber piece out. Actually, maybe I can just remove it all together. Okay, so I finally got the clock out. It's still connected in the back. These, these clips right here are very difficult. They are not easy to get out and that's the hole they center onto. So actually what you have to do is when they're clipped in there, you have to get a 
flathead screwdriver and you have to push it. So you have to push this part right here for it to get out just like that. And there is our wiring right there. That clock adapter is gonna plug in just like that. And there you go. That's our clock harness. And I think it looks pretty darn clean for what it is. And now we have to get these wires right here up through there. I just have to figure out what's the path of, what's the quickest path to get up there, so. I actually had to leave and go pick up my sister um, from work because this snow is getting pretty bad. Luckily, the garage is a little warm, so that's good. We're gonna get these glow shift gauges installed. I'm gonna place it on there. I wanna see if maybe I can just use double-sided tape like the last owner did on my 2002 WX. Oh, the light went out. Oh, shoot. I mean, all right, it's not bad. The back there is a pretty large gap, but you know what? It is the cheapest one and I'm okay with that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the hardware from out here. So we got these brackets in and all we have to do now is connect the boost gauge, the boost line. We're gonna wire this up. We have the female end connectors there and these are the male end connectors. This one goes over here. This one I believe is the oil um, temperature. This is what the final product looks like. So out from this gauge, right? We have the male and female quick disconnects. This one as well. We have that extra cable that sends information in there. And we have the other quick disconnects that all tie into the clock unit. All right, this is the moment of truth. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is sick. Yeah, they dim as well. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, all right. I better open the garage door and turn the car on and see, see this. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, oil pressure is pretty high. Oil temp still has to come up. Oh man, oh that's awesome. I'm gonna close the hood and drive outside real quick. Well janky drivers, I think this is the end of the video. I am pretty happy with this result. This is pretty awesome. Let's see. Well, the boost isn't reading. I guess I gotta figure that out. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'll see you guys later.